you just hopped in my rabbit hole welcome in so today i was inspired to participate in the journal tag 10 um i will link all the information down below um this was not started by me so you can find all the videos um of the two lovely 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 women um who um made this happen uh, down below and i really really um think they have done very good videos so check them out how long have you been journaling do you remember your first journal i'm journaling since 2003 i can remember my actual first uh, journal quite well because i still have it um but it's in a box in a bin so that nothing can happen um to it when i was eight years old so my eight year old self was starting to journal because actually my aunt gave me this journal it was square it was like probably 20 centimeters wide or so and um, or like a five size wide and it had the same width and on, on the very um, right side there was a lock with a key so um, as kids get gifted like these dear diary uh, diaries from time to time i actually started to journal and i really really liked it and i actually used it for like up to 10 years i think until 2013 but i haven't looked into the journals i can tell you like if i really wrote my last entry then or if i just like stopped using the book then or like what I did back then, I just know that um, the last entries were actually pages that I glued in from other um, from other journals because I wasn't happy with other other journals. So, um, yeah, I didn't really do a dear diary for ten years in there, but I think the last like entry that is in there, even on different paper. Is from like 2013. What is the purpose of journaling for you? Why do you journal? The purpose of journaling is actually getting the thoughts that I have in my brain. This should be a brain. Actually, I cannot like draw it much better but like this brain is full of chunk full of chunk and this needs to go on the page on the page just written down so that i do not have to keep it in my brain and what i'm using for this is first my bullet journal you can call it a journal like if you want to um, for many, it's a planner. For me, it's a way to get my thoughts out of my brain so that my brain isn't as cluttered anymore. And the same goes with my brain dump journal. So I, I'm using actually two different um, journal uh, journals right now. For bullet journaling, I'm using this lovely Bible size plotter. It's like, this is A5 and this is like B, uh, a B6 or so. And um, it's my planner. And so this is, like I said, a way to keep my brain organized so that I do not have to keep as many things in my brain. And the same goes with this guy. This is, I have shown you this in my very, very first YouTube video. This is actually the um, Sterling Ink Common Planner in A5 Compact. 
and in the back there are a lot of um, just notes pages and even if I didn't intend this at the beginning of the year or even when I pre-ordered this book right now I'm just using it as a brain dump journal I have also done some weekly memory keeping but right now I'm not keeping up with it and actually I found out that it isn't as important to me for me it's much more important to keep up with my planner first and foremost and then also doing some brain dump from time to time so this is a very personal um, journal like a dear diary if you want to say so and this is really helping me Three, do you ever abandon a journal or have you journal breaks? If so, why? Yes, definitely. I have abandoned some journals. Mainly, actually, because so many like heavy thoughts, so many like brain dump happened in there and there was some like heavy times so that I actually didn't want to pick the journal up again so I have some journals abandoned um, also like now archived uh, because I'm considering them done I think I love to finish a journal but if it's not helping me why should I keep on why should I keep on if I hate the paper why should I keep on if I hate the experience if every time I'm picking up the book I'm getting these negative negative thoughts again um, that were going in there so I've just archived them four do you only keep one journal or many as you just saw I am keeping many journals but um, actually it probably depends on um, like what you would consider a journal um, I think this one is a safe bet okay this is my dear diary channel this is where nobody else is allowed to look inside this as well but it's mainly a planner so I'm taking this everywhere with me of course there's some personal information of course um, I wouldn't like anybody to just sneak in, but its main purpose is to plan in there. So yes, I'm calling it a bullet journal because I have adapted the bullet journal system so it works for me and with rings. Um, but yeah, then actually this book that I'm in right now is an ink journal and I have shown you my ink journals before. So I have also many of them, but is it really a journal? Like, what would you consider a journal? For me, it's a notebook I'm filling and I'm having fun in. I'm calling it an ink journal. So take it how you want it. Um, you can count it as you want, but yeah. And then I have a project journal. In my project journal, I'm not going to show you right now. It's B5 right now. I just... I don't know, I didn't get into the groove to write in there and so now only projects go in there. So I'm knitting some socks and I need a plan for the for this sock knitting project because I've never done as big of a project before. Okay, so I'm writing down some notes, how I could do this, some resources, whatever, or which books I want to read. So yeah, mainly I have one brain dump journal and I want to fill it from top to bottom. But then I have many more notebooks. Five. What makes a journaling system right for you? What do you need in a journaling system? I definitely need a pleasurable, expressurable experience. <laughs> For me, it's important that I have good paper, that I have a good pen, that I like have supplies that work and that I like to use. Um, for me, these are tools and tools, I think, for me, need to be 
of good quality. Um, so yeah, everything for the pleasure <laughs> in this case. Six, do you have a favorite notebook or pen when it comes to journaling? I definitely have some favorite supplies. Um, first, I just got this recently. Uh, the UniChat stream is one of my favorite pens to take notes because I don't know why this these ballpoint tips just work really, really well for me. I'm not using it to for long form journaling, but I like it for like at home jotting things down in my project journal or like also in my ink journal or so. Um, so this is definitely one of these. With this um, Tombow Fudenoske uh, brush pen in the hard tip, I'm right now doing my um, date um, like header on top in my um, brain dump journal for every day that I'm journaling. Like today is the whatever 10th of May, so um, I would write just 10th of May on top, maybe the the weekday, and then. Um, Afterwards, I'm going in with my fountain pen. So um, for journaling in my Bujo, I right now have um, my Twispy Diamond 580 in here. I'm using this just like that. I'm throwing this into my backpack and then I'm good to go. And I love this combination right now, but I think it will, I will switch it up soon. So yeah, in my... Uh, brain dump channel as you saw i have this ben new um, euphoria jazz i really love this pen as well it has such a depth of material and uh, it's so glittery it's so shiny i wouldn't take this to work but i actually um, love this for just like brain dump journaling so i have i have this tucked in so that i can like start whenever um this is definitely one of my favorites fountain pens in general at work i have a different fountain pen as well and um there i'm using as for paper um there like in my brain dump channel you just saw the tomoe river paper of the sterling ink common planner at work i'm actually using also about bujo um but there i'm using a leuchtturm notebook um so that's, for example, also a stable that I found out that at work in my bullet journal. I really, really love my, um, my Leuchtturm. And then I think for journaling, everything what is beyond that, like also like washi tape or stickers or so, it's an add-on, but it's not essential to the system. I like right now to use these things, but... I also can see that maybe like the fancy excitement will wear off um, pretty soon. <laughs> so um, I'm not counting on this to be one of my favorites. I'm just like, right now it's there. I love it. But it's a temporal temporary thing. Oh my gosh. Speaking English is hard today. <laughs> so, um, but actually for journaling, for brain dump journaling, even my, in my very first journal, um, that I described before, I used a fountain pen. And why, you may ask, because I know a lot of you are living in, in America, um, who, is, who are watching me. I'm living in Germany and here it's totally normal, or at least it was normal, to use a fountain pen in school from, I think, third grade. So I used my fountain pen. <laughs> Seven, how would you describe your journaling style? Actually, I'm not sure. Like, what would you even consider a journaling style? Would you say like minimal or maximalist or like what's a style in journaling? I think for me, the brain down journal is more like a cleanish journal just with like written text 
it's not a memory keeper, there are no photos in there, it's just written. Uh, in my planner, there are a few stickers, but for the main part, it's just a bullet journal, so is that a style? I think so. I don't like journals to chunk up. I don't like them as big. I want them slim and portable and handable. Han handleable? I don't know if that's a word, <laughs> but I, I also like to be able to go through them, to use them up in quite like a good amount of time. Like, um, not, I don't like to have a journal for five years, you know, like five years in a row writing, like, because there are so many pages or so. I like to go through a book and then have some no novelty soon again. So, yeah. If you want to consider that a journaling style, you can. 8. Who, where do you get your journaling inspiration from? Inspiration. Um, like before, I actually don't know really how to respond to that. Um, inspiration is just like whatever my brain wants to, like what or, or needs to get out of. My... Maybe that's also like um, connected to the style, but inspiration. I have so many thoughts the whole day and I have so many ideas. So whatever I need gets onto the page. I'm not doing any quotes. I'm not doing any um, journaling, like how do you say, um, these, these uh, prompts. I'm not doing journaling prompts, no. I'm just doing whatever feels good. That's all. So, life, I guess. Nine. What does your journaling routine look like? How often do you journal? I am using my journals quite frequently, um, but actually not as frequent as I would like to. I'm using my planner nearly every day. This one goes with me everywhere and I'm only not using it when I'm really, really, really busy. Um, with a brain dump journal, actually whenever I need it, whenever I feel like it, whenever my brain needs to do some more. So, yeah. Actually, planner first, brain dump second, because in the planner you can also obviously do some to-do list brain dump or stuff. So, yeah. 10. Your one tip for a beginner who wants to get into journaling. My number one tip for like a new journaling person, for a person who wants to journal, who wants to start tomorrow or today or next year or whatever. First, just start, like just try it out. But second, and I think that's even more important so that it can stick, is asking yourself why. Why do you want to journal? Is it a real reason? Like, be honest with yourself. Is it a real reason? Because people just, like, what's your reason? Is your reason because people say you should journal? Because you heard that journaling would heal you? Because journaling is like a, a super duper whatever? Is it because um, the possibility you are looking forward to to look back in the future, like to look at memories, to like remember stuff. Um, is it to organize your thoughts to reduce the clutter in your mind, like I am doing it? What is your real reason? And be honest with you, because honestly, for me, I also started some memory keeping and so because I was so inspired from different YouTubers, but it's not sticking. Why is it not sticking? Because actually what I need more than just being able to look back is decluttering my mind. And then like 
just because anybody says like oh you should journal and then everything will be good and blah 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 no it won't like no it's not like a super whatever thingy that you have to do and if you don't do it you're not like um how do you say um like you are not like good enough or whatever because you cannot do it every day and whatever like building a routine with journaling is hard anyways it's definitely hard anyways building a routine at all so don't be as hard to yourself don't uh, like don't do what others say you should do do what motivates yourself if you're like okay i want to try it out because i'm hoping to be like calmer afterwards so like i do yeah for me it works it can be that it doesn't work for you but you can try it out thank you for hopping along along i hope you're also checking out all the lovely other videos um i hope i'm seeing you soon bye